So for today, we're going to be looking at the NPA wire walker set for the hunter, specifically the pieces. We're going to be making armor sets with some of these pieces. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. We do have the review up already for the NPA wire walker for all the classes. If you guys want to check it out, it's right here. Uh, we look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and it's a pretty short video. Um, these are all going to be pretty short videos just because uh, I don't want to make them too long because uh, at the end of the day, this is just like my preference and my style. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet. And this one is a variation of my young Ahamkara spine set that I've made. I think I've posted this video already. If I can find it, I'll post it up right now. But if not, this is an old set that I made uh, revolving around the augmented wish ornament, which is like the cybernetic one. And I decided to go with the NPA wire walker hood because it has a pipe in the front. The geometry in the faceplate looks really cool with this whole set. And yeah, that's really it. That's all the whole shtick of it for the helmet. Obviously, NP Wirewalker. The exotic is going to be the augmented wish for the young Ahamkara spine. The chest piece is like invest with the interlaced strides and the cloak is going to be the calamity rig cloak. I really like a lot of these just because I've said this before in a few videos, but the light can vest and the calamity rig uh, is really good together because it combines really, really well because the chest piece has those two pipes, to the chest, and then the calamity rig also does really well job at connecting those. And then the really cool thing about the NPA wire walker is the fact that the, there is a pipe on the actual mouth itself. So it kind of looks like the pipe is like going behind the backpack so that way you can breathe which is why i went with it i think it looks really cool i really like this whole set even though i'm not the biggest fan of the helmet with this set it actually does go really well because again the chest piece there's a lot of going there, there's a lot going on visually and then when you combine it with the helmet which also has a lot visually it just kind of looks really really good together if i were to change one thing it would probably be just the arms i would probably just switch the arms out for something a little bit more electrical electrical but this one's not bad. I would probably, I would probably switch this one out with the renewal grasp, specifically the ornament for that, because that one also does have a little bit more electronical look to it. But the unfortunate part about that is the fact that the renewal grasp uh, with the ornament looks really small. As for the next set, we're gonna be combining the arms with the new ornament for Girl Falcon, the pressure stabilizer. And this one is pretty cool. I think the only thing I don't like about the about this is the cloak. I think the cloak could have been a little bit better. But for this, we're going for a deep diver uh, look. So for the helmet, a quaz grin because it just I, it makes sense, right? Like I'm not I'm not weird to think about this. Like it just looks like a rebreather that a person would wear underwater. The arms obviously we're using the NPA arms. Again, the chest piece we're using the pressure pressure stabilizer ornament for the girl falcon i think it looks really cool especially with this set because when you combine it with the pathfinder leg guards you look like you're wearing like a scuba gear type thing and then for the cloak diamond born cloak is what i went with but again i think the cloak could have been chosen a little bit better um but the reason i didn't go for that is because i don't think a hood would be something that, like a deep diver would wear because i mean the hood would just go down it would go everywhere so it wouldn't make sense for a deep diver to wear that and this makes a little bit more sense uh, just because you are wearing like a backpack for the diamonds born stuff. So that way you can like look stuff. That's this is like this is what goes into my head when I make sets like visually, like would it make sense for a deep diver to do this? No, it wouldn't. So that's why I'm not wearing a hood. So I really, really like this one uh, for the shader reef regalia, just because uh, I really like some of the purples in there and the fact that the colors just go really well together like a. Like something a deep diver would wear because uh, if I remember correctly, they don't wear white. It's usually like just really dark colors. I could be wrong about that, but I really like this set. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I just kind of winged it with this one and I'm kind of happy that I did because I actually like the combination of the chest piece with the boots, uh, the hardened basilisk leg guards. I think these two look really, really well together. And then the mask of the anointed, which is the new Eververse armor. I would probably not use this helmet for this whole set, or I would probably switch out the phenotype plasticity cloak. Uh, either way, I think this looks pretty cool. And Thalia's reach ornament for the liar's handshake. Uh, let me be honest with you guys. I think I think I could have done a better job with the exotic just because this feels a little bit more royal than everything else. So I would probably switch the arms and the helmet and probably the cloak 
to match more of the like i don't know i don't even know what you would call this like tactical scuba diver i would probably just switch out a few pieces to like get that look a little bit more just because i really like where my head was going with this one if i'm being completely honest i would probably switch out the arms for the the europa armor specifically the arms i think that one would be a little bit better and then switch out the helmet for an exotic and then the cloak switch it out for something else so this one is a really good like whip which is a work in progress and i didn't even know it was a work in progress i thought it was done with this one but now that i'm looking at it um a few days later i'm like man like if i switch out the arms and the helmet and the cloak for the other pieces that are in my head right now they would be really really good but again i like to showcase the ones that i'm not really too comfortable with because it does show you that i'm not perfect this is usually like where my head goes i'll make a set and then really start to change it up like as i go so that way i can really find the like the one look that i'm looking for so i have thought about making a video of just how my process is of making an armor set if you guys would like to see it let me know in the comments below but let's uh look at the next one and then last but not least another set where i'm like i actually don't mind this but i would switch a few things here and there so this one we're going to be using the raiju's harness chest piece and i really like this set i think the set goes really well with everything and again pathfinders grips with the npa boots i think go really well together just to really give you more of that like underwater deep diver feel the pieces that I would probably change, and it's only one, would be the cloak. Um, the Hardened Basilisk cloak is cool as fuck, but I don't think it, go it goes well with this set. The problem, though, is the fact that I'm trying to hide the bandana on the Thunderhead mask, which is why I'm using the Hardened Basilisk. For this one, I would probably switch out the cloak for something that still hides the bandana because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, but I would switch something that goes a little bit better with it. Um, it doesn't look bad. It's just, I think the colors on the cloak is not great because everything is like that, like off white, orange or Navy. And then when you go to the top, it's like purple and Navy and it's like not the same colors. So I would probably either switch the shaders, which is going to be a bitch or just switch the cloak with something that not only hides Thunderhead, uh, the forehead, but also has the same colors as everything else and for the shader plated lap lupinous is what we're using it just because uh it goes the orange on the armor actually goes with the orange on the like uh ribs the raiju's harness pieces it goes really well together so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i really had a lot of fun doing a lot of these i usually do but specifically uh that cloak was so terrible that i was just like i'm not even gonna like make myself do it because i don't want to so next up uh the warlock and the titans only have three pieces that i'm using but i am using multiple pieces of those sets so let me know what you guys think appreciate you guys other than that be safe i will see you guys later